Okay, we're at Q Center. Q for queer, right? Queer is in hell. No, not as in hell. I hope as in heaven because in heaven. the people in hell, like all those Republicans, want to serve to have that much fun in hell. Okay. And I hope nobody's ever going to see that because it's going to ruin my career forever. Forever. <laughs> this is Richard Schemmerer. Kind of difficult to say your name. Schemmerer. Oh, like just Schemmerer away. That's you know. it. And your exhibition here at Q Center is called Icons, Icons and Idols. Icons and Idols. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. I recognize some people here. That's Thomas, Thomas Lauderdale. Lauderdale. All right. Next to Rock Hudson, and I hope he's not going to have the same destiny. Oh, Rock Hudson. Oh, yes. all right. And who do we have here? Ooh, Tom of Finland. Kinky, Tom kinky. Tom of Finland. Yes. I love him. So are he these inspired all- me to have my penis enlarged. <laughs> I hope that's that's okay on YouTube or whoever is gonna show. <laughs> okay, now let's move along here. Okay, um, okay. then I thought, um, because Larry to Quinn show or? that I am also, I have some depth sometimes, not tonight, you know, but, okay. so he's uh, one of our uh, icons, not just an idol, Larry yes, Kramer. Yes, yes, I think he wrote some major books, but he he's, did, he did. he's kind of forgotten. The band played on? No, wait a minute, yes. that's, that's, red. that's that's not, that's somebody else. But, okay, who's next to him? That's the other one. Yeah, Tony Kushner, no, that's no, the playwright. No, no, that's Randy, uh, Randy, yeah. uh, he was from the University of Oregon. I I actually took a gay studies class from him, believe it or not, Ooh, wow. and the band played it on. We should do a show on those because we're forgetting them already, so it's very important to dig them back out. Oh, Ellen, the American, the American Dream. Dreamer, uh-huh. innocent, oh, but Ellen, cool. she makes money right now. No, she's doing well. She's, she's very doing, good. I'm she's proud of her. Well. Yeah. Now, let's get close to one of these pieces. Like, Ooh, kissy, kissy. Like, what about like, this? Mm, God, I love this piece. And this is Darcel. Darcel, but she's like almost a little bit like a really butch sisters of perpetual and you know, I think Darcel was never that butch in her real life, but uh, I put her on this satellite dish because, um, you know, that's the only place she fit on. The satellite dish is the only place she fit on. I mean, well, you know, me a she's, a, about the she's a great character, a big icon in town. Yes. So. No, tell me a little bit about your process. My process <laughs> is I look around the house <laughs> and see what kind of items um, would qualify as green in our days. You know, because I want to be politically correct. Okay, so you're recycling is what you're telling but us. Besides, I'm, of course, starving. Uh, not as an artist, but otherwise. I mean, I mean, not otherwise, but as an artist. Okay, and you're starving. Uh, <laughs> right. so, so I have to use what I have. There's something about this that just reminds me. This is me. actually beautiful. This goes around usually red r- bottles of wine, you know. So, oh my God, the yeah. girl is losing losing it already. But, so. you know, you can do that because you're the artist. Yes, so I know. You can, so you can, you know, there's something It will be $50 cheaper now, so bit, I lost a little. A little bit like Francis Bacon. Yes. Don't you think? A little bit like bacon? I never saw bacon in a wig, but it could be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's... So, I love yeah, this No, no, one. first this huh? one. Don't oh, okay, I'm sorry. Because I didn't, I didn't Chris realize. is my cohort. We have a show, Chris Haberman. And I, okay. And he has forced me to make a penis. So uh, this is um, called top because with the top hat, you know, it's like top that hat. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. Okay. Then I just recently saw uh, no, the Keith Haring's uh, documentary. What did you think about that film? Oh, I hated it because I thought they should have reversed it. They should have let him die at the beginning. Okay. And Get that over with. Yeah, because it ended so sad, and he was. Wow, he was great, and I, I was so surprised. The thing I got out of it was that he was a much better artist than Warhol was, so, in my eyes, I mean, you know. Well, he only didn't live very long, so yeah, it's hard to but his output, it out. And, yeah, absolutely. and actually, absolutely. you know, did you see that, uh, that little camera we have now? He was like crazy, he was like doing da, 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 long before we crazy. could even think about he anything was, like that. He so. was crazy, he was definitely, he was, good. he was very good. And so what have you done with this? What is, is this paint on paper, what's the deal? I drew his face on paper, then I cut it out, then I had a pre-existing uh, graphic thing with this gigantic mouth uh, that was called Mission Impossible, and I couldn't sell it. Okay. So I thought I combined the two, and Where's now the Mission Impossible. I see something here. Yeah. Okay. Because there was actually a gun here. Oh. And it was very scary looking. So now it's kind of his herring looking. So. Yeah, it actually is. It's it's excellent. I really all really of the like pieces it. actually created themselves. They kind of matched themselves with what I had already pre-existing. Because uh-huh. I'm working on this in my mind since years, but because I had a 
an artist friend, Rinaldo Hopp in um, Berlin, who made um, queer, the Golden Queers or so in the 80s. I felt like I could not touch uh, the same subject for a long time. Well, sure, we're really you, had, close, you were so. too close. I get that. I, I, I understand that. Now, this I love. But now I can blame Chris Haberman for it. So. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> what about this one? This is a really nice piece. Right. This is um, Andy Here's Warhol Andy. Uh, yeah. when he was younger. Yeah. And I, I thought he was really pretty there. I read some of the interviews and everybody always said he was so ugly and only turned think that's true. much better looking when he was shot, which I seems is a really no, strange statement. I don't think so. I think he was always kind of good looking yes, in I think he was way. a fascinating character. Yes. yes. So what is the, have you drawn this, painted this? I drew a Does paper. Is it on a photograph? What's the deal? No, it's just a white paper. I drew it basically and then I retouched it with ink. Yeah. And Excellent. Then, and then I um, cut out um, that and then I had already a pre-existing piece again okay. that seemed to have uh, is matching. I didn't want to copy any of his symbolism. That's kind of my idea to take uh, icons and idols but introduce them to a more contemporary symbolism. Basically my personal symbolism even though that's inspired of course too by other people. Well sure. And then what do we have here? Here we have oh, Freddie, uh, Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Oh, I love this. Uh, I found a photograph of him when he had a beard, but so I drew him without the beard. But so it's kind of a mixture between his earlier uh, phase when he was very androgynous and um, and then actually turned into this uh, leather freak, you know. Yeah. So kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean, he did. He did. He switched. Oh, one of my favorites. Oh, no, one of I my don't know. favorites. I don't know. I can't look at her because I always see the little dog poop uh, in her mouth because that's oh, the wow. only movie I ever oh. seen of her. You know, I, I sat behind her yeah. on the airplane once. I have to say, on my the way first, to New York. I was not even. I my didn't know I was gay, and somebody took uh -huh. me to a gay club, and there was because there was divine uh -huh. in Munich on a disco club because all the American people when they had a, a low in. Uh, in America, nobody wanted it. Like Tina Turner, all those people, they would do, they would bet middle, all those people would tour cheap little, tiny little discos yes, yes. In, in Germany. And oh, they so would make tons of money so, there. Oh, okay. So I seen the so vine there, of... and she was as big as a house, but as much fun too. Oh, I love this one. I, the, center, the central image. Okay, again, you painted that? Yes, I painted that, and then oh. this was actually a different painting, and it was a, yeah. a TV screen. Yeah. But nobody could see because it says uh, flat screen. It was an idea to make a flat screen, but I thought Divine fed fit perfectly into this flat screen thing. And cult and slave and idol and icon, it just all melts together. Oh, of course, Sam Adams! Sam, a totally new rising cool. star totally in town. I love it. So I had also a graphic design and I thought I'd make him more translucent, like somebody who's still on the rise, I mean, still finding totally. himself. I love it. And then the, what's the first one here? This one's oh, yours too, no? I saw Marlene uh, on did? the streets of Paris. I lived in Paris and I didn't know that it was her until somebody pointed it out. And then I was so oblivious to it and so dumb at that time because she died like a few months later. And I realized then, like so many of those idols and icons, they die very lonely and forgotten and oh. so it was very sad then because I thought you know sometimes you think you could be just like um, you could meet them for coffee or do something or enter them or call well, when them. They're right when you're in the same town with them like that it, yes. it does seem that way I remember when I lived in London I thought geez I mean now I think Francis Bacon was there yes. he was right in my neighborhood why didn't I do something right. like you know you're too busy in a way you think you could save them but well. it, it's sad we could probably if we no. would stop you know and really <laughs> I don't know it's if we would stop kind of saving ourselves. <laughs> exactly. We're too busy trying to do that. Hey, I love your show. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks so Ava. much. I love Richard. you. Yeah. <laughs>